Hi, my name is Siddhant and today I'm here to talk to you about the Open Ocean Camera. Now, the problem that this camera is trying to solve is that the collection and processing of images for marine research is actually very expensive and very time consuming. The reason that, uh, you know, doing this process is so expensive and time consuming is because underwater video uh, for research at least, is currently taken using a GoPro camera. Now, the GoPro camera runs out of battery and memory every three days, which means every three days, as a researcher, I need to spend 50 US dollars to rent a boat, rent some fishermen, go out to sea, dive down, and change the battery. Now, this is obviously very, very expensive operational cost. The second issue is that the GoPro has only three recording modes, and it records through the night, so I'm wasting almost all of my footage. And the third is that this recorded video, whatever it is, actually has to be watched frame by frame manually for me to ID the animals inside it. This is a manual process and takes many, many hours. So you can see the three main issues. There's a very high cost of operation, 50 US dollars every three weeks. There is no flexibility in the current solution. And the manual process post processing is very expensive, very slow and painstaking. Now, this is where the open ocean camera comes in. Our camera makes this whole process seven times cheaper and 50 times faster. How do we do this? So our camera actually has a slightly different battery system, which means our camera lasts three weeks underwater instead of just three days. Also, we have one terabyte of memory and we have an app that allows complete timetabling and scheduling. We also use our, a deep learning and AI that we have built to classify the animals automatically. Now, what this means is that the scientists can use the app to completely decide how they, what shooting mode they want to use. We support 130 shooting modes. And finally, when they get the camera back out of the water, they don't have to manually sit and view every frame because our AI does this automatically. So we convert three days of battery life into three weeks of battery life we convert three shooting modes into 130 shooting modes, and we convert 190 hours of manual processing into just one hour, which is done automatically. Our solution is 50 times faster than the current solution and seven times cheaper than the current solution in annual cost. Now, our revenue model is we charge 1,000 US dollar for each camera, and we make 50% margin on this camera. Now, our goal is to make this eventually open source the hardware and only sell our AI and software app. Uh, we're looking, hopefully our dream is to, once we have a big enough camera network, is to actually aggregate the data and the images that are being taken by our camera network and become a data marketplace for marine research. To look at our timeline, over the next one year, we want to have and deliver 300 to 500 cameras across Southeast Asia. Within two years, we want to move to the software model where our hardware is open source and we are only selling our software. And within three years, we're looking to start becoming a data marketplace by leveraging the data that's from our cameras and selling it to research institutions. Our solution is by far the cheapest uh, to operate and by far the most uh, comprehensive. Um, thanks to the cooperation of some advisors that we have who are part of our solution, we have access to over a million images taken by National Geographic. Uh, and this allows our solution and our artificial intelligence model to be very defensible. And uh, we started with this idea, came up with this idea in January this year. And already we have sold two cameras and we already have a letter of intent for from National Geographic to buy 100 cameras this year. So these are some pictures of our expedition to Sibaltan, Philippines. Uh, and our camera, this is actually a manta ray that was taken by our camera. So this is a little about our team. Uh, I am Siddhant, I am the technology expert. I am an imaging researcher at the University of Hong Kong. Uh, so I am handling the technical aspect. Alessandro is a domain expert. He's the National Geographic Explorer, and he's worked in the research field for 30 years. So he really knows that space. And lastly, Florence. Florence is a sales and marketing expert who currently works at AIA Insurance. So she knows sales really well and is able to take our innovation and bring it in the real world. So we are looking to raise 
you know, over a hundred thousand dollars this year, and that is why we are applying to the competition. If we can do this, we will be able to change the way marine research works and hopefully protect our Earth in a better way. Thank you so much.